Today on Animal Fact Files, we're talking about the platypus. A platypus is a special kind of mammal called a monotreme. There are few living monotremes today, and they're strange when compared to other mammals. The most obvious difference between monotremes and other mammals is that monotremes lay eggs. They also have a cloaca. Actually, the name monotreme means single hole, and is in reference to a monotreme's cloaca. One would need to travel to Australia to find a wild platypus. The platypus is considered an amphibious mammal and requires a permanent source of fresh water in its habitat. A platypus's front flippers are used for propulsion underwater, while the back flippers are used as rudders along with the tail. While on land, a platypus's front flippers fold to reveal its claws. These claws are used to dig out the burrows in which a platypus will rest. When first discovered, the platypus was thought to be a hoax. To be fair, a platypus does look like a combination of other animals. The platypus is also commonly called the duck-billed platypus because it seems to have a duck bill attached to its face. The resemblance is only superficial, however, because a platypus's bill is rubbery, covered in skin, and internally not structured the same way as a duck bill. A platypus's bill is important for gathering food. While underwater, the eyes, ears, and nose of a platypus all close. So the platypus goes by feeling to navigate. Through its bill, a platypus is able to detect electrical pulses of animals and will seek them out by shaking its head back and forth while swimming. Once prey is located, a platypus can even overturn rocks with its bill in order to dig out prey. The platypus will collect insects, crustaceans, tadpoles, fish, worms, and more, as well as stones in its cheek pouches. The stones help to grind up the food, as an adult platypus doesn't have teeth. The platypus also looks like an otter with its slender body and waterproof fur, and appears to have a beaver-like tail, but a platypus tail is less scaly and more furry than a beaver tail. The boys are larger than the girls, but on average, the platypus is one and a half feet long and three pounds in weight. A platypus begins breeding by four years of age. After mating, a female will dig a nest burrow lined with leaves and plugged up with soil. She'll lay one to three eggs and incubate them by holding them to her stomach with her tail. After another two weeks, the babies will hatch and nurse for three to four months. Platypus milk is sucked directly from the skin or fur, as these mammals don't have nipples. It's unknown how long the babies remain with their mother, but they're most vulnerable to predators when they leave her. Predators to the platypus include dingoes, foxes, eels, birds of prey, feral cats, and more. A platypus is a slippery meal, however, because it has loose skin, making it difficult to grasp. The males may also use toxic spurs on their back legs to defend themselves. These spurs are present in each platypus until they reach about one year of age, at which point only the males retain them. The venom in a platypus's spurs is known to kill animals up to the size of a dog and cause pain in humans. At one point, the platypus almost went extinct due to overhunting for its fur. Now, it's still threatened, but it's also protected. If a platypus can avoid predation, it may live to be more than 10 years old. For more facts on the platypus, check out the links in the description. Thank you to Harry for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching 